Precious metal clay is reclaimed by the Japanese very cleverly from x-ray film, circuit boards and the like and they come up with this very fine powder of fine silver. They then combine that with 10% organic material so together it, it produces like a clay that isn't a clay um, and we just then can mould it and fix it and use it as we wish. I can make it more liquid to paint beautiful flowers more liquid. Later on, when I've got enough on there, the plant will be burnt away and I'll be left with a beautiful silver flower. Here I used yellow box gum leaf and I did the same thing exactly, coated the back with silver. I also took a mould of the yellow box bark which I silvered and then I fused the two together to make a beautiful pendant and put a lovely chain on. That's one piece that I've done directly from the plant material. This is another piece I made. I turned it into a huh, key ring, but it could easily have been a pendant. It's from our famous cork tree in Tenterfield. I made a mould from the bark. And I think that's just a right, it gives such a beautiful pattern on the silver. It's also a good memory to take home from Tenterfield. That's that one. Over here, this mould, this mould here was taken from the underside of a mushroom. But as you can see, I've changed the shape slightly and I've added a beautiful cubic zirconia in there and put it on a natural stone of fluorite which I absolutely love together with a silver chain so that makes another beautiful piece you can do all sorts of things with similar shapes but treat them differently that's all with the painting that's a previously painting this is a mold here these are some stones that I've got out ready to use these will be hand, I will hand form the mounts for these and there's a beautiful ruby stone here uh, with natural fuchsite. So they will make beautiful pendants I'm sure when they're finished. I use for the natural material all sorts of beautiful things. I've got lots more in this little pot here of the Christmas roses and we've got beautiful honesty which will become earrings. I have a bag full of beautiful nuts from a friend which will become pendants, earrings and the like. I just sort through. I don't know what I'll do with that. It's a bit eerie. <laughs> Maybe nothing. But these are my collections. Over here I have lots more collections of interesting things that I pick up along the way and bring home and hopefully bring to life in the form of necklaces and earrings. That's it. The rest of my work is done down in my workshop, which I can't bring up to the dining room. That's it for now.